Let's talk about cannabis or marijuana, particularly for arthritis. What is cannabis? Cannabis is a substance obtained from the dried leaves and buds of hemp plants. It's composed of many components, but the two key components are CBD, or cannabidiol, likely the main component involved in pain reduction, and THC, the component causing an intense high thought of with marijuana use. Some research does suggest it may assist CBD to reduce pain. Synthetic cannabinoids have also been produced, available as prescription products. How does it work? Well, the human body has natural cannabinoids, or neurotransmitters, which act on cannabinoid receptors in the brain and nervous system, as well as the immune system. These systems play an important role in regulating pain sensation, inflammation, appetite, mood, sleep, and others. Both THC and CBD also act on cannabinoid receptors in the body, and when these receptors are activated, inflammatory and pain responses may be reduced. Does cannabis work for arthritis? Cannabis has been tried for pain relief, improvement in mood, as well as sleep. But specifically for arthritis, there are still no rigorous tr clinical trials for cannabis for osteoarthritis or rheumatoid arthritis. There has been a review done of 15 lower quality studies, which showed one person out of 11, so out of 11 tried, only one had a very small degree of pain reduction. And these were shorter term trials, so the longer term benefit of cannabis was unclear. However, these studies also showed that more patients taking cannabinoids stopped treatment due to adverse effects. On average, from anywhere from 1 in 8 to 1 in 22 patients had an adverse effect, event. 1 in 5 experienced dizziness, felt sedated or confused, and about half felt being high. And cannabis can also affect many potential organ systems in the body, including the heart, the nervous system, the gut, eyes, psychiatric, the lungs, as well as the reproductive system. Further, cannabis smoke contains many of the same toxic chemicals as tobacco smoke and may be linked with certain types of cancer. Cannabis may also interact with other medications that you may already be on. So it's important to talk to your physician or pharmacist to determine if you are at risk by taking cannabis with your current medications. Specifically for those under the age of 25, where the brain is still developing, there has been some linkage of long-term effects on memory, thought, and learning, as well as the ability of the brain to function. The bottom line for cannabis with arthritis is that the benefit of cannabis in patients with rheumatic disease remains unclear. More evidence is needed to determine what dose and what formulation produces the best outcomes, if any, in rheumatoid arthritis and osteoarthritis. The few studies though examining cannabinoids report limited benefits with the risk of potential adverse events, and the long-term risks associated with cannabis, especially in patients with rheumatic diseases, remains unknown. If you are taking cannabis or considering it, please ensure you discuss it with your physician or your rheumatologist to ensure it is safe for you. For more information, please visit our website at albertarheumatology.com.